What's up guys, Prince Sports here. Now, Clippers got their backs against the wall in the legendary style. Three games to one. Now we've seen a lot of teams come back. Well, not a lot of teams come back from three to one. We see the Golden State Warriors do it against OKC Dunder. We've seen uh, Miami, not the Miami Heat. We've seen the Cleveland Cavaliers with LeBron James and Kyrie come back in 2016. But now the Clippers are facing that same dilemma. You know, um, so this series could go either, either two ways. Either the Suns have an epic meltdown and lose this series, choke three games to one, lose the same way the Clippers lost last season, being up three games to one. But now the Clippers find themselves in the very same situation, but on the opposite end trying to come back from being down 3-1. So, here's the thing. Now, as I watched Paul George miss those crucial free throws, um, you got to knock down those free throws, man. <laughs> okay? You're an 80-something percent free throw shooter. This is the second time that you miss crucial free throws. So, is that an example of choking? Because when you are normally doing something good and you keep constantly failing at something that you normally do good where there's no pressure on you, that could be considered choking. So Paul George, he may be borderline considered choking on this one because you're supposed to be winning and knocking down your free throws when you're supposed to have the chance to knock down those free throws. Okay? So... With that being said, the Clippers on the verge of going home. Now, we do, we all know that without Kawhi Leonard, that the Clippers was going to potentially lose sooner or later. You know, their luck was going to run out. They weren't going to be able to come back being down, um, giving up the first two games, then making some big time comeback. At some point, luck was going to take its toll. And I said this several times that, you know, the Clippers are on the verge of losing. Because if you look at it, there's only like so many teams left that's winning full healthy. The Bucks is one of them. Um, and the Phoenix Suns. I think we're on a collision course between the Bucks and Phoenix Suns. So do I hold this accountable if... The Clippers lose this series. Yeah, I hold it accountable on them, but at the same time, it has to be taken with a grain of salt. Okay? Same way we say that the Lakers could have won and beat the Phoenix Suns as Anthony Davis played. Well, guess what? You don't win basketball games. You don't win a series without your best player for so long. Okay? Or your second best player. You're going to need your alpha and your sidekick. Okay? Because nobody wins championships by themselves. Scotty Pippen. Um, but yeah, man, um, it's crazy. Um, this NBA season, I can't say there's an asterisk next to it, but injuries have really killed, take a really big hit, a TKO on the NBA season in terms of entertainment and not getting what we want. We could have got a Lakers versus Clippers this year. And we may not get it because of all these injuries taking place. Now, am I surprised that the Clippers are on the verge of being eliminated? No. Um, do I hold Paul George responsible for this loss? Yeah, because, dog, you're, so, you're supposed to tuck this fourth quarter over it. The game was in your grasp to win. All right? You had enough rest in the third quarter. You should have led your team home in the fourth quarter because they're going to lean on you. The thing about superstar players is that... No matter how good of a player you are, you're going to need your star players or your supporting cast to show up. But there's certain times they need you to show up. And Paul George, you have to do your part as a franchise leader. You have to do your part to close these games out. And so far, you haven't been doing it. Now, I will say this. Phoenix Suns winning despite Devin Booker not playing so hot. It's kind of a scary thing for the Clippers because you should have been up. Two games now. You let two games slip. Nobody else is responsible for that other than you, Paul George and the Clippers. 
Sports out. Peace.